so hello everyone how are you so today i'll be doing a new game that is a shooter game so if you are liking my videos please do subscribe and like and if you are not even liking it please comment in this section why you are not liking it so that i can improve my videos so keep watching so yes today we will be making us this a uh, shooter game so let's go ahead and delete our cat sprite first so now let's go ahead and create the background so to get a view of what our game looks like let's go to get asset backstage go to the backdrops let's select a uh, purple color yeah this color looks good okay now go ahead let's go ahead and create a gunman so for gunman go to create a sprite and then okay i need a circle circle with inline circle with boundaries so i'll increase the thickness a bit then press shift and pull to in order to make a perfect circle move make it at the center okay i think the color is same so let's create to it again so let's make it black now and i think yes so yes so let's paint it white so any color you like you can paint it so i'm painting it white white seems good okay and let's create some arms over here so the arms let's take it back and i think this will do and uh, it here and this looks good yeah it will work so let's create a gun gun i don't know actually how it will look from the top view maybe a rectangle so go to rectangle select uh, with a filled rectangle let's select a color for gunman let's select this dark color over here so create a rectangle and this doesn't look like a gun but it will work let's add something here and here so that it keeps somewhat uh, look like a gun so yeah so yeah so our sprite is created now let's go to the scripts area and now we need to means able to control our sprite right so we need to con able to control it forward movement backward movement so let's create an event so go to when flag is clicked and we need to be able to uh, control it forever so go create a forever loop and then i need an if then block so let's create it so go to sensing and then go to the touching no key pressed but key pressed option is here place it over here so let's say for forward movement i like to be w so that is w yeah and when w is pressed what it should do it should move forward so go to the motions and select move so i don't want it to move 10 steps at a time i want it to move let's copy this block over here duplicate it because for backward movements we need same so for left and right we also need the same duplicate it so we have four of those so for backward movements go to and let's select s and for backward we need minus negative the direction right okay so now for left i'm selecting a and for left i don't need the move button so let's remove this one so for left i think i need turn anti-clockwise option so what happened yeah so yeah anti-clockwise option here so 15 degrees is too much let's make it five and for right direction i am selecting d which is clockwise let's turn it five degrees at a time and i think we will be able to control let's check it out so yes we are able to move forward backward and also we are able to rotate so i think the speed is too slow so let's increase the speed of it so we do we'll do i think let's see so yes now it's good so yeah okay so uh, we have created our gunman let's get some zombies over here so create go to create a new sprite the zombie would look similarly from the top view let's select the color that's black again and create a circle and make it at the center so let's select the color to be this time let's say since it's a zombie I'm selecting it to be red and I want to look it more dangerous, so let's cross it up. Let's make a cross over here. And I need arms. So arms here I need to, to be little open arms so that it looks different from our uh, gunman. So this would work. Yes, it's working. And now this is a very basic design. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead 
and uh, one more thing i will be adding more to this game and keep watching the videos and keep following up with the updated videos that comes every day so this video is too late because i was busy so yes keep following up with this channel so yeah so let's create uh, let's do go for this uh, our scripts part right now for our zombie so for zombie what do we need initially i don't want it to appear in my screen in this way this doesn't look good so let's click it let's hide it for now so initially i want to hide it and initially i want to hide it okay and also i want to means clone i want number of zombies coming in attacking my uh, gunman so for that i need to create a clone of myself means the zombies so i need a forever loop and i also need a create a clone of myself so let's add a little bit of delay for the buffer to occur so, okay create a clone of myself now when it when what happens the clone is created so for that when i start as a clone it's this clone we show up first thing because we are hidden show and then i wanted to start from say yeah this is this side the right side of the screen so i wanted to occur randomly so let's first go to go to motions and the go to option so the go to option will take you there and i want the x axis that is this to be same because this is same and i want to vary the y axis randomly so go to operators pick the y randomly okay so pick the y randomly as you can if we move the cursor you will see that y varies from about minus 180 to 180 so i want to vary this from minus 170 say to 170 okay now let's create a forever loop and yes so what now it should our uh, it should attack us means attack the gunman right so it should point in this direction okay so let's go to motions and point towards our sprite one that's it sprite one and then it should move slowly okay so moving 10 steps is too fast let's make it one and see the speed okay now up when it, let's see what's happening so it's moving it's and the thing is that we are getting too many zombies okay so this will be dealt with so follow on with me so now we are moving to one steps and create a clone so i think i need to means increase this uh, speed means the time frame so that so not so many zombies are created let's see now it is controlled so yes now the speed is little bit controlled so yes we are good here so now what happens when it approaches us so it should not accumulate us in here right so it should what should show it should vanish so for that we need to create a if condition if so yeah i think i need to go to the zombies part yes and then click select the if if uh, go to sensing then if touching our sprite one then what it should do so it should delete this clone right i don't want it again here and also i would like to add a delay because i don't want it to vanish instantaneously so it looks real so yeah so let's see now what's happening in the screen so it's coming so yes when it touches our sprite it vanishes okay that's perfect perfect okay till now perfect now let's go ahead and create the bullets that we want that why we want to fire so go ahead and select sorry and paint a new sprite for the bullets and i think i will select some rectangles over here so i would color them to be a dark yellow okay and let's paint it okay yes it looks like bullet okay it looks like bullet so i think i should reduce the size somewhat yeah that should no more more i want to reduce it more I think this should work yeah so now go to the scripts of this bullet part and just like the our zombies part i don't want it to be displayed here initially so i want it hide so let's go to the script and for events go events and initially hide this one out okay so i this one are hidden now now what we want to fire this from our sprite one that is our gunman so go to the sprite one 
so let's create another event that will fire our bullets so we need to be able to fire the bullet so we need if block if let's say now the key pressed option will be let's if space is pressed then it should create a clone of not myself sorry about the position so not myself this time this time it will create our sprite 3 that is our bullet sprite 3 okay and it's done it's not done it's, we need to go to the sprites uh, sprite 3 script now when it will start as a clone what it should do let's see so it should show itself first thing is that it should show itself it should show itself and then it should start from our uh, sprite one that is our gunman so let's go to this position let's take it to this so go to our sprite one okay and it should means fire in this direction in the guns direction right so what it should do it should point initially point in this guns direction itself so let's align that so point and in direction this and go to the operator it's not operator sensing and you will see you'll have the option of uh, yeah what was the option this, this option x direction so in the direction of sprite one because it's our gunman direction we are concerned about the gunman's direction okay so now what's happening now i need a uh, needed to fire so i need to repeat means i need to move continuously at a speed certain speed until it reaches the edge or it touches our means a zombie strike so this should be our condition so let's have a repeat until step repeat until and have an odd operator because it needs to check both the conditions and moreover let's go and get some sensing tools over here yeah so touching to touch because I need to check two condition touching first thing is edge it should not be edge and it should not be sprite if it touches both it will get deleted it will not move okay so if it does not touch it will move so let's move it so move it let's say 18 steps okay and after this what it should happen it should delete itself delete this clone so let's see what's happening in our game yeah but yes the firing is too fast so let's reduce that one first so firing speed i need i think we can add a delay over here so creating a clone so let's add a delay of 0.3 seconds maybe so let's see if we have solved this issue yes we have solved this issue. but you can see that the bullet is firing right from the gun and not from the gun so let's solve this issue so go to the motions bar and move the minus clone 10 steps let's say 16 steps forward let's see now if the problem is solved yes it is solved yes it is somewhat solved yeah okay so yeah and but it's not killing our uh, zombies right so i think uh, something is wrong with our program let's check it out so it's touching edge and touching sprite okay okay this is done and okay yeah so yes this is done and it is pointing direction okay 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 okay, okay yeah yeah yes this is our sprite one and sprite two and sprite so let's check it out so let's play it out a bit and i think yes we need to check a condition in our sprite two that if it touches means our let's place a condition over here so controls if means clone checks if it touches so go to the uh, touching if it touches sprite our three is bullet then also it should be deleted so delete this clone so now this should work definitely so uh, my aim is not good yeah you may see that it's working okay 
so yeah this was a very basic introduction i will be adding more features like the how to change the gun so how to mean add lives and how to means uh, and create a separate zombie in the next video to come so please do subscribe so that you get the updated video whenever i upload i will update it soon so keep following thank you